हेलो यूडो फैमिली हेयर आई एम आर डी राठौर कम्युनिटी हेल्थ ऑफिसर वेलकम यू ऑल इन द मेड इन फोहब चैनल टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ड्रग दैट इज साल ब्यूटा मॉल इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी द फॉर्म ऑफ अ ड्रग अवेलेबल डोसेज साइड इफेक्ट एंड ऑल द क्वेश्चन रिगार्डिंग साल ब्यूटामोल ड्रग लाइक वॉट इज द यूज ऑफ साल ब्यूटामोल इज अ साल ब्यूटामोल स्टेरॉइड what are the com- common side effect of salbutamol how can reduce the side effect of salbutamol how long does salbutamol stay in your body what happen if you take too much salbutamol can you drink water after using inhaler what happen if you don't rinse after using a inhaler so to get answer of all these questions don't skip a video watch from start to end let's begin our first question was what is use of salbutamol the salbutamol is used to relieve symptoms of asthma and chronic obstructive pulmonary disease that is copd such as coughing wheezing and the feeling breathlessness it works by relaxing the muscles of airway into the lungs which makes it easier to breathe and now let's see in which forms the salbutamol is available the salbutamol is available in the form of tablets oral syrup that is 2 mg per ml then respuls that is 2.5 mg per 2.5 ml mdi that is mitted dose inhaler respir in the form of respiratory solution that is a 5 mg per ml is a solution which has to a dilute in a saline 5 mg per ml and the last is a rota cap that is dry powder inhaler let's see the doses of the salbutamol dose of salbutamol is 0.1 to 0.4 mg per kg per dose every 8 hours the patient with acute exacerbations exacerbations of asthma then mdi and nebulization can be given and also injection can be given but which is the least preferable one and the best is mdi what is mdi mdi is a mitter dose inhaler which is uh, 2 to 4 puffs every 20 minutes following by 2 puffs every 4 hours in the first 1 hour it can be a uh, given 3 times by interval on a 20 minutes each now let's see a nebulizations that is a 0.15 mg per kg per dose every 20 minutes for 3 doses followed by dose every 2 to 6 hours now let's see the injections that is a 4 to 6 microgram per kg per dose that is a subcutaneous intramuscular and iv 6 to 8 hours <clears throat> every 6 to 8 hours and this is not preferred route nowadays nowadays injections are not given and uh, next adult dose what is adult dose that is a 2.4 mg per dose that is a 3 to 4 times per day when we use to uh, when we Use for a pediatrics. It should not more than two to four mg, which is an adult dose. And uh, our question was: Is the salbutamol steroid? No, salbutamol is not a steroid. Ventolin, that is albuterol, does not contain a steroid. Ventolin, which contain the active ingredient albuterol, is a sympathomimetic, that is a beta agonist. bronchodilator that relax the smooth muscles in the airway which allow air to flow so in and out of the lungs more easily and therefore it easier to breathe so the salbutamol is not a steroid now the next question was what is the common side effect of the salbutamol the most common side uh, most common side effect of salbutamol are the fine tremor headache muscle cramp dry mouth palpitations and the other symptoms may include tachycardia arrhythmia flushing of skin myocardial itchy 
it myocardial ejection is a rare and the disturbance in the sleep behavior now the next question was the what drug what class of the drug is salbutamol the albuterol known as a salbutamol and albuterol belongs to a class of a drug known as a bronchodilator and the next question was how can we reduce the side effect of salbutamol if you use a nebulizer to inhale the drug you may uh, lessen symptoms and if you can uh, uh, switch to a mitral dose inhaler and uh, if you already use a mitral dose inhaler the symptoms may be uh, reduced or uh, if you use a spacers or a chamber device which is attached to a uh, to the inhaler the side effect can be uh, reduced so the next question was uh, how long does salbutamol stay in your system in your body the answer is the salbutamol is excreted in the urine as a free drug and uh, and as a metabolites after oral administration 58 to 78% of a dose is uh, excreted in the urine 24 hours 24 hours and 60% as metabolites now what what the next question is about a steroid inhaler the question was the can you drink water after using inhaler if you are using a corticosteroid inhaler gargle and rinse your mouth with water after use do not swallow water swallowing water will increase the chance that medicine will go into or get into your blood stream and the next question is what happens if you don't rinse after using inhaler when you breathe in your steroid inhaler medication the small amount of steroid can stick to your mouth and throat as it makes it way into your lungs to help you breathe if this small amount of steroid is not rinsed out from inside your mouth or throat it can cause a fungal infection or known thrush if you like this video don't forget to subscribe made in bhub channel and press on the bell icon to get new video notification thank you for watching